What's up everyone? Here from Masbati city in Masbati. So today we're going to be going on a bit of a transport mission because we need to get from here in Masbati to the Kamotis Islands in Cebu. So a few hours ago we just bought our tickets for the ship to Cebu city that's going to go during the night. That's what we're going to get on in about an hour's time. And then from there we still have to work out how to get to the Camotes Islands. We think that there's boats every day, maybe a few boats every day, but we don't know where from. We'll probably do some searching online while we're on the first boat. So the boat that we're getting on is Kokaliang Shipping Lines. That's the, that's the company anyway. And it's a thousand three hundred and twenty pesos per person. Is that tourist class? Yeah, tourist class with AC. And I think they, they had another option which was cheaper but no AC. But they also had some uh, private cabins but more expensive. So yeah. we're sticking with the, the tourist option. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's still with like Filipinos, right? Yeah, I don't know why they call tourists but it's like uh, anyone can get that, Filipinos yeah. or tourists. Backpacker mode on. Yes, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, I think we got everything. Before we check out, we always do like a quick look, make sure we didn't leave anything in the plug sockets like we've done before. Nothing in the bathroom, I don't think. I think we're good. All right, so first we need to get a, a tricycle, which it's right here already, right? Yeah, he's a... Uh... Hello, to uh, the ferry? Ferry terminal, terminal. the Baco. Ba yeah, terminal. The boat. It's a uh, 50, yeah? Okay. All right, I think I'm gonna have to go back riding. So we just arrived at the terminal here. Not sure how the food is on the ship, so. Yeah, I'm just getting something here. I just got half a chicken. So you can get chicken with rice, 99. I think that's a quarter chicken. What are you gonna get? I don't know. <laughs> See something Maybe. in one of the other stores. Yeah. How much for half chicken? Half chicken, 150. 150? Okay. All right, we're in the port area now. So we had to pay a terminal fee back there. I think it was 30 per person. Yeah, it's kind of like an airport. You have to scan all your things. Didn't know they would do that here. And this is cool, we haven't been on a boat like this overnight one in ages since we were in the Amazon, but that was on a river. We've also come at the perfect time for the sunset. Yeah, perfect time. Uh, yeah, it's very wavy here. Can you see the, the waves? Yeah, there's a lot of waves there. On the side that we're on, there's no waves. It's certainly different to the last one that we got on in the Philippines. It does look like a ship more than a ferry. Funny, it kind of just feels like we're in some cargo area. Yeah, but I think it is uh, also a cargo ship, uh, shipping cargo. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> blogger, blogger. Blogger, yes. Blogger, okay. Tra travel vlog. We're going, Cebu? Yep, Cebu. Yeah, that's the shipping that Carol was talking about. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the AC section. It's nice and cool. So one of ours is 126 and the other one is 96. Wait, 165, 207. Can we even fit through there with our backpack? Watch Carol get stuck. No. <laughs> Wait, this way. Is it this aisle? All right, um, 127 over there. All right, so this is us for the night, Carol. <laughs> we got the, the bottom bunker. There we go. Yeah, so this is it, quite. Quite small. Can you stretch your legs there, you think? The full length. Yes. Oh yeah, perfect. Tailor made for Carol. And it already comes with like a little cushion. Pretty worn out, but better yeah. than nothing. That's why I brought this. <laughs> oh yeah, I brought one as well. I don't think they give us covers, do they? I don't think so. And then we got the large jackets in case everything goes wrong. And uh, we have some power outlets. Yeah, we didn't know if there was going to have plug sockets here. Yeah, so as you can see, you're just chilling with everyone in this class here. Like hundreds of beds, I guess, just in this part. Yeah, we've done this a few times before the, on the first trip to the Philippines. I think we did it like two or three times, but it's been a while. Airbnb 
Airbnb right now and Carol's on booking.com. <laughs> Those are the two main sites that we use to try and find uh, accommodation because we don't even have a place to stay in Komote's Island yet. Internet's bad though, isn't it? Yeah, it's not working. Though. Yeah, we might have to just book it when we get in uh, Cebu. <laughs> That was a nice warm welcome in that you got. Yeah, the Filipinos are always so friendly. So I think the food I got is definitely better than Carol's because, what is that, like a pot noodle? Yeah, other than this, they only have uh, like crisps or other snacks like some cakes, not like food, proper food. But well, this is not proper food either. Yeah, mine's definitely looking a lot better. Half a chicken and rice. So it turns out that they do have uh, covers here. Just had the... Uh, show your ticket and give them ID. I had to give them my passport, which I didn't really want them to keep, but it's the only way. Man, this is quite comfortable, look. It gets cold. It's getting cold now. Yeah, it's getting pretty chilly. And we're gonna need this. All right, no, no skin rashes for us. <laughs> So we arrived right on time at 7.30 a.m. I don't know if I mentioned before, we left at 7 p.m. So yeah, it was just over 12 hours overall. And now we're just trying to find the pier that has the boat to Camotes. We think that it only leaves at 3 p.m. But yeah, we're gonna find out. Are we on pier one right now? I think so, yeah. yeah. And we need to find uh, the ticket store. Gotta dodge these things right here. <laughs> to 7-eleven uh, next to the port for breakfast i just got this thing that they have in uh, the philippines it's like a bread it has chicken inside i don't know what the name is and the water so that was uh, 70. carol got a coffee to wake up you got a bit of a headache too not a bit a lot like a big uh, migraine so I hope the, the coffee will help me. Sometimes it helps, right? Yeah, the medicine didn't help me. <laughs> and besides that, just some potato chips, orange juice, what is that, crackers? Yeah. 131. And we just found out that this isn't the poor that we go to Camotes. No, I think in the past they used to have uh, boats from here to Camotes, but they don't have it now, so we have to take a bus like an hour and 30 minute bus to another port to another city another city called Danao so we think we've got it figured out now we have to head to the Cebu North bus terminal and we're gonna get a grab since we're in like a major city they have a grabs I think all the major cities in the Philippines have grabs but the islands the provinces usually don't so Masbate didn't I don't even think El Nido has grab only uh, like tricycles or private taxis yeah so we're gonna get a grab and that's gonna be 160 pesos it's only about 10 minutes away pretty close is, is it better with the coffee now your headache i think so yeah it's getting better yeah that always seems to do the trick killed it Us to get on their bus, we're getting on this uh, green one. How much is it, Carol? 70. 70. We can put the bags underneath. Take up. Look at the color of the camera orange. It's because of these curtains, isn't it? Uh huh. <laughs> That's okay. 
uh, I'll, I'll go orange mode. So uh, it's gonna leave in 14 minutes, so that's convenient. And yeah, our bags are taking up some other seats. The guy didn't want us to put it below, so nothing else we can do. in Danau now. The bus was really good because it drops you off right at the port so very convenient and this is just like the waiting area for the ferries and the boats so we just got a ticket from over there. It's 325 per person and we're going in AC once again. Much needed. <laughs> yeah I'm very tired. <laughs> yeah it's hot. Carol's still feeling a little bit bad. So we gotta go AC for sure. I forgot to mention too that the boat to Kamothis isn't at 3. It's uh, 11.30 so we only have to wait here like what? 30 minutes or something? Yes, we're real lucky. Yeah, we're real lucky. Completely yeah. winged it and everything's gone to plan. Even yeah. though there was no plan. Yeah, for now but <laughs> I still need to wait for the, the Airbnb lady to reply because uh, I booked it. But we don't know where we go, where we should go to get the key and stuff. So yeah, there's no address, right? No, so I'm still waiting for that. But other than that, everything's going, is going pretty okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the last ride of the day, the second and last boat, Jomalia Shipping Group. There we go. So yeah, it's just a small boat this time. It's going to be a quick ride, I think, right? Two hours. Two hours. Yeah, not okay, so not quick. so quick. Yeah. Welcome aboard. So since it's a shorter distance, we're not in like beds this time. It's just uh, normal chairs. Pretty comfortable though. You can lie back too. Oh. <laughs> Someone behind you. Someone behind you. So we've arrived at the Kamothis Islands. This is already looking like the exact kind of island that we love. Look at these banana plants here, everywhere. And now we're just looking for a restaurant before we head to our uh, hotel. Because the lady still hasn't replied, so yeah, we're not exactly sure what we're going to do. Yeah, I think this is the spot right here that we saw on Google. Buy one, take one. Lang's food station. It sure seems quiet around here. <laughs> so I got two hot dogs for 47 and Carl got two egg sandwiches. Also for 47 I think. 67. Oh yours is 67. Yeah, mine was 47 though. I could have got a foot, a foot long one. What's that ambulance? <laughs> So we just arrived at the place that we're staying and yeah they were not expecting us and there is a reason it's because the owner on Airbnb is living in France and we're in a completely different time zone right so they probably didn't get the message at all so we arrived here and the place isn't ready or anything so yeah we're just giving them some time to prepare and clean the little beach house for us and yeah we're just gonna walk around we're loving it already though like the scenery is absolutely amazing and look at this beach right here that's where we're gonna go now, right? To check it out. Yeah. Go for a walk and explore the, the barangay or village, I don't know how to Yeah, the little neighborhood here. Yeah. It's really a local place. I wasn't really knowing uh, yeah, where we were coming, so nice surprise. So this is the name of the place that we're staying. Connie's Island. Welcome to Connie's Island. It's a Sunday, so you can hear the, the karaoke is on. Filipinos love karaoke. I think it's this house here. Eh? 
Just one guy on his own. <laughs> Going for it. That's how you spend your Sunday over here. Yeah, so our place is in between two beaches. So this is one of them here, and then there's another one on the other side over there. But this one already looks really nice. I think that's the most karaoke event we've ever seen going on. Yeah, because it's a Sunday, and I think there are some birthday parties, so another reason to celebrate. Yeah, on, on the beach here, there's quite a few. Maybe I'll film it on the way back if they're still there. This is the birthday party that's going on, I think. Got some local foods. You're gonna sing in the karaoke carol? <laughs> no. No? Yeah, they have like a little TV set up over there. You know, like, oh, that's wonderful. And then, of course, Philippines, you have the basketball. They love basketball over here. Hello! <laughs> Sounds like the one-man party is now a two-person party. Taylor Swift. Hello. <laughs> so we've finally been able to check in. Probably took about two hours overall, but no problem. We were just chilling over there. But yeah, I can show you the really awesome place that we're staying. So this is the beach house here. Look at that for a cool beach house. And this land here is all part of the property, this garden area. And we're right, right on the coast. So the garden goes into the coast. So that's why I wanted to stay here. Really nice, gonna get some good sunsets there. And that beach that we just showed is just here. So right next to the beach. And there's another one just around that corner that we haven't seen yet. So I'll show you inside now. Looks like they're planning a few little things here. Not sure what exactly. And then this is the little balcony area. Can also lie down here. And the place inside is nice. There's just a few problems, in it, isn't there? Yeah, there's uh, the moldy smell, which is the biggest one for me because I have allergy, but uh, we're keeping the, the door open, so I think it will make it better. Also, the, the light is not working, but uh, we talked to them and they're going to bring another light bulb to change it. I hope things will be fixed soon. Yeah, and also we don't have internet. The router is not on, so I don't know if they're going to do something there. But anyway, I'll show you around. So, yeah, we do have a fridge and freezer. There's a house, so we can, like, uh, cook and stuff. I think through here. I think this light works. Yeah, it does. So this is, like, the little kitchen. Kind of like the look of it. So we can do some cooking here. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what's here already. Sugar, some things like that. Pots and pans. And the sink. I think this is a window that you can open from the outside. And then over here is the bathroom. The little bathroom. That's all open as well. Just one big open area. There's no like a curtain or anything. Oh, we got the doggos. All right, that's made up for all the stuff that's not working. Hello. Hello. This one's a bit scared. They're not scared, are you? What about you, happy dog? Oh, what a cute one. It's like a fox. Dude, just go through the door. Isn't that a fox? Yeah, a little fox. Little fox dog. Come here, scared dog. <laughs> the fox dog. 
Cool, we got four dogs. Nice. Yes, I think a lot of the problems are because they didn't know we were coming and also I don't think they've had any guests here, maybe even for months because of like COVID and stuff. That's probably why there's the moldy smell. I don't think uh, the place has been open all this time. Oh yeah, and it was like uh, $45 on Airbnb. So that was after the fees, but because of the problem, she's already said that she's gonna give us a discount. We didn't ask for one. I guess uh, she just decided to give us a, a discount, yeah. So we're going to bed now. We ended up eating at a resort nearby run by a German couple and we were really lucky that that's so close to here. It's only like four minutes walking there because there is no other places to eat in this village. We'd have to go somewhere else. I'm not sure where though. I think even some of the other villages have no restaurants or anything. So we ended up being really close to one right here. And if we knew about that resort, we might have actually stayed there because the rooms are a lot better than this and it's only like 18 to $20 a night. So over half the price than what we're paying here. They're not right on the coast, but there's still about a two minute walk to an extremely beautiful beach. So yeah, maybe we should have stayed there, but yeah, I don't think it's gonna be too bad here either way. And they also give us some free fruit, so that was nice, like uh, papaya and bananas. Yeah, very nice of them. So if you like this video, just drop a like as usual to support us, subscribe to see more videos like this, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you around.